Hello and welcome to Aerotech's Automation One Motion Control Platform Educational Series. Aerotech is a company that solves your toughest precision motion and automation challenges. Automation One is a motion control platform consisting of software-based controls and development tools, PC and drive-based control hardware, and hardware-based drives for server motors and other devices. In this video, you will discover Automation One's access control feature, including Automation One's platform architecture, the levels of access control, Windows Active Directory and access control, adding users and groups, enabling access control, and access control and machine apps. My name is Patrick Wheeler, and I'm a product manager for Aerotech. Let's get started by taking a quick look at the Automation One platform architecture. We'll start with the two highest level concepts here, which are the Motion Development Kit, or MDK, at the top box here, and the ISMC, or the Intelligent Software-Based Motion Controller. The MDK includes multiple applications, including the Automation One Studio, Status Utility, Machine Apps, and Console, all which can use either the .NET API or just purely the AeroScript compiler for talking and communicating with the Automation One ISMC controller. This can be done over a local or remote connection, meaning the controller can be on the same Windows-based PC as the MDK, or it can be on a, another PC altogether or on a drive-based controller and you can connect over ethernet or USB for those other two situations. The ISMC uses several services and also some real-time tasks, including a C transformation process, which we can tell you more about if you contact Aerotech, or in order to connect to Automation One drives. And that is over Automation One's hyperwire communication network. So that's our architecture. Where does access control work? Access control works on limiting which applications can actually connect to the Automation One ISMC controller. So let's take a look at how that looks by opening up the software. This is the opening screen for the Automation One Studio application. From here, I can choose to connect to a controller. I'll choose a local controller on my PC. We launch this into the administration screen, including the access control setup section. So I wanna enable access control on my controller. So I'll do that. In order to do that, you'll see that the note here says, enter your network credentials to connect to the Windows Active Directory. That is because by default, Access Control uses Windows Active Directory in order to manage access control on your controller. So just like logging into my PC, I am on my network. I use the same login to access my access control settings, okay? Now I've previously set this up, but I'm not gonna use those settings because I don't wanna walk you through that process. So as I click no, you'll notice my name comes up as an administrator and I have no choice but to be an administrator. So when I'm setting this up, it is assumed I am the developer of the system, not the user. And it gives me full access to do everything I need to do on that controller. This is because for most of the times an engineer is deploying this for operators and technicians that will use this system or machine in a real world setting. So doing that, let's just pretend my co-product manager is going to be the operator. So I'll search for his name. Daniel comes up here and I'll add him. And then let's just add a group of engineers. We'll add the software engineering group. As you can tell, we have many, many engineers in our company. And we'll pretend Daniel's the operator. So we don't want to give him access to the studio or console. And we only want him to have access to the HMI tool, which is the operator interface. This is our machine app tool, which allows users to build custom windows based HMIs for your controller. You can see that in several other of our videos posted on aerotech.com. If you want to learn more about machine apps. So let's just assume that we know what machine apps is. And I'll show you a little bit of that here in a second. And Daniel now can only connect to the controller through a custom machine app developed in Automation One called the Operator Interface Machine App. Because we're gonna say that software engineering is a little bit more high end of a user in this example, they can access through the studio or console. Let's just pretend we don't ever need to operate this machine through the operator interface, just the technician screen. We can click that off and give them that level of access. You'll notice because I'm restricting their access they no longer have administrative privileges on this system. I am the only person left with administrative privileges. 
before access control is enabled on the system, the controller is considered inclusive. That means all groups and users would have access to the controller should the firewall settings allow them to access it even through the company network. Now that we're setting up access control, it's assumed to be exclusive. So that means that software engineering, Daniel Hong and Patrick Wheeler are the only three groups or users available to gain access to this controller. And it's very restrictive in the way they can access the controller. So let me enable this. Okay, so now that access control is enabled and applied to this controller, I will quickly log off, disconnect from this controller, and I will connect back again. Note I had to log in in order to gain access to the controller via the Automation One Studio application. If I come here and I go back to controller selection and I want to connect to this controller again, and now I am connected to the controller and I have access to both machine apps through access control. If I click on one of these machine apps, you will see exactly the type of user interface I designed on this system that is enabled through access control and the machine apps design tool. So let me hit exit and I enter back to my machine apps launch pad. That concludes this instructional video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning about Automation One's access control feature.